Okay, so you see the top one's white, the bottom one's gray. And what I want to do here is I want to get the gray one on top. So I thought, well, that's pretty easy. All I got to do is flip it over. And when I did that, it didn't work. So I thought, well, maybe I'm not flipping it right. So I tried flipping it slowly on the side. I tried flipping it really fast. Okay, but I couldn't get the gray on top. So now that you've seen this thing a little bit, any ideas as to how? What? Uh, so you're saying, okay, it has to do more with the light then on top. So if we change the light to reflect from the bottom, and we can make the bottom one white, okay, and the top one gray. Okay, so let's take a look at this then. What's happening here? What do you think uh, is unique about this to make this effect happen? Why is half of it seem to be brighter than the other half, regardless of whether we have the light source from the bottom or the top? What must be happening? Or what must be taking place here? How much light is getting through to the second part? Okay, so somehow this bottom one's being shaded, right? Or vice versa, when the light's from the bottom. Okay, but even more than just shading it, what you want is you want whatever object is in there to reflect or magnify, enhance the light on the section that you're bringing the light in. Okay, so you have the same thing here, only apart so you can see it, because that one's glued together. But what you do is you put in a piece of aluminum foil. So that shades the bottom, but also reflects the light that hits from the top back up through it so that it makes it even brighter than it would be without that. Um, this is just golf wax. You can buy it at Walmart, places like that. It's where the canning goods are. And uh, again, you can just you know glue it with Elmer's glue, put that in there, and uh, make that prescribe that. 